Good morning, New York. Guys, we are heading right now to take care of something we probably should have done a long, long time ago, but we're about to get upgraded. Upgraded big time in the camera department, not just video, but also picture. So we're gonna head to B and H, which is like, which is like, what's that? What's the big toy place in New York? Sir, do you know the name of the toy store in New York? That's it. Ah, uh, come on, the one from Big. Dang it. Anyhow, it's like that for grown-ups, for camera photographers. Jason loves it. Yeah, it'll definitely be like a candy store for me. I just gotta go in there and pretend like you know what I'm talking about. We need a, a 12 to 35. Actually, we don't. That's what this is. Yeah, we're gonna get a 7 to 14. A 7 to 14, and then we're also getting a new camera. How much do you think I'm dropping today? Take a guess. Over seven? It's gonna be at least five. It depends on how happy you get when you see what we're doing. All right, it better be worth it. No more autofocus issues, that's what we're shooting for. It only took us 35 minutes to get here from Brooklyn, which means we have about 30 minutes to get all the stuff we need. Photography and surveillance? It's crazy in here, absolutely insane. All this stuff, tripods, straps. So we got the a7R 3 we got the 7 to 14 millimeter lens for this camera. Which is gonna do what? It's gonna make it wider it's make so you can that see more. So much better to vlog on. It won't have, the, it should fix a lot of the autofocus issues too. Yeah, everything will be in focus a lot more. And then we're also gonna get a 50 millimeter lens for better Instagram pictures, better everything. Question is, am I spending more than 10? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> you need to invest in your craft. YouTube, Instagram, that's what we do. Yeah, I, after being with these influencers, Sam, Johnny, David, we gotta step up our camera game. Camera game, no more bad autofocus, amazing Instagram pictures, gotta learn how to color grade and all these things. That's why I have Jason. So my guess was at least five. Oh, it's not bad. I'm happy it was under 10. That's what I'm happy about. <laughs> so I did that 10,000 calorie burn. Oh, I ate 10,000 calories, and then I tried to do the burn. And I didn't have a great watch. I had just a baby watch. Which wearable technology, I mean, first off, I think it's really cool to try to do those things. Like, how many calories do you burn doing this? Or what activity level? That way we can figure out the best way to burn calories, or the best way not to burn calories. Um, looking at Polar, looking at Garmin, Polar and Garmin. Rhythm, rhythm. Is there any other brands out there that you guys like that you have? And maybe one of these brands wants to hop on board and show us what you're made of. Damn, bro. Order, pay, and pick up all in different spots. Like, this is like Santa's workshop. I know, that's exactly what I was thinking. Thank you for shopping at BH. Thank you, thank you. Nice, well, five and a half grand later. I'm starving though, so let's go find, try to find a deli. We're about to step it up big time. In fact, the next time you see this, it's gonna look like this. To this, oh, isn't that so much better? I'm in my hotel room because we had to run super fast. The taxi here took about 40 minutes to get back. And then we had, huh, this is all the stuff. The Botoskins jacket I got, we have we had hundreds of pieces of Gymshark, the camera equipment I got, the new Nike shoes I got. So we have boxes and boxes and boxes. So I actually have too much stuff. So the guy who follows me down at the coffee bar is getting a bunch of Gymshark stuff. This stuff even has tags on it. You didn't even have to wear it. Lucky him. You ready to go eat some pizza, hopefully? Definitely ready, so ready. Dude, this makes you, this makes you look skinnier. This isn't good. Am I, do I look skinnier now? It's good if my face looks skinnier. You only have a zit right here. What the hell? Beautiful. My hotel room, you were the best New York hotel room of all time. But now you must go by. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Bunch of, bunch of gifts. Non-worn, I didn't wear them. 
lot of tags on them. Yo, so. yeah, I got a, nah, I got a Colorado give you like <laughs> Come on. Bring it in, brother. Yo, peace. Come on, man. You're the man. Good to meet you. Yeah, of course. I'm definitely coming to your gym. When you come to Vegas? Yeah. Okay, you go for that pool party, too. Oh. I have a whole plan just for you. It's going to be like, it's going to be my birthday and your birthday at the same time. I dig it. Yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Vegas is the next time I'll see you. I feel like the pizza I made at home the other day is probably going to be not as good as this, but I was watching them up, up there. I put a lot more tender love and care into my pizza, I will say that. I loved it. I caressed it. I made sure that there was a bond before putting it in my mouth. <laughs> Definitely. I haven't had pizza all week. I've never been to New York and been in town this long without pizza. No oh. You guys ready to roll to the airport? We are. Yo, look at, it. look at this guy's swag right now. The orange hat. He's like an Instagram model or something wrapped up in now. Get it. If you want to have a boyfriend that only works, I'm right here. Yeah. That's that's you. That's Always me. on the road. Always. But I want to have a girlfriend so bad. <laughs> and you said you have a girlfriend or a dog or both? No, I got <laughs> Is it the same. I got two cats and one girlfriend. Two cats. Well, it's and my mom and dad's cat, so two girlfriends and one cat. Gosh. <laughs> no. I can't wait to get home to the popster and to Courtney. Oh crap, I need to get him a gift. I told him I'd give him a gift and I haven't yet. Really? Hopefully the airport has something. Airport. Brother? Oh! Here's the, here's the place Good meeting, meeting you officially. Hopefully you guys come out. Definitely. All right, nice meeting you. Nice Steve. Meeting. Very nice meeting you, man. Plus six. Back in the STG, look at the lens. It's like I don't have any problems with the autofocus. That's awesome. That really makes me happy. I'm glad that me and you can see each other clearly now for what we are. In the office at Fitness Culture, I feel like it's a Monday because I got back, but it is a Wednesday. It's always like hard getting back into the swing of things. Got a lot of big stuff happening in the next couple weeks, so there's no time to rest. I did have a good cuddle session with Poppy. Um, got a bunch of random things sent to me today. What else did we get? We're gonna do a little mail time. We got these, thank you. We got these, and we got more belts. Which I'm not exactly sure, maybe we should do a giveaway or something? I should set up the printer for sure. I should take some clothes home. These are all my clothes. And then I should pick out something to wear because it's leg day. So guess what? This will be a great shirt to wear for leg day. I'm gonna be rocking this shirt for my new line. This is a three quarter sleeve with a scoop bottom. This is an XL and you guys will see how it fits me. It fits me like a true XL would. Um, if you are thinking about getting this new Steve Cook Gymshark line, I would definitely just realize that the sizes are gonna fit you bigger. Like if you normally wear a Gymshark XL, you're gonna be a large in this brand. I haven't been able to do heavy, heavy squats in a while. We're doing box squats today, low bar back squat. That's what's on the agenda along with some calf raises, leg extension. So we're gonna go out there and we are gonna get the best leg pump in the world because I'm gonna take some pre-workout here. I'm gonna focus up, I'm gonna do a little bit of meditating if you will, just concentrate on what I, the job at hand. There's also a young man out there from Australia, came to the US, was in LA, was in Vegas, came all the way from Vegas to fitness culture. So we're gonna actually just gonna go down there and, and, and train, do a little leg day with him. But I don't feel like it at this current moment. The back is tight from the, the week of doing stuff, not sleeping in your own bed and then flights. Doesn't mean anything. You still gotta get the job done. Think positive and let's do it. This is my only reminder of my awesome hotel room. Thank you, One Hotel in Brooklyn. It's a recyclable, recycle everything. That's pretty, it's pretty cool. I like it, I've never seen a wooden key. How's that edit coming? Just about done. Putting it together, you're gonna like it. Is it the greatest vlog you've ever seen? It, it will be. You guys are gonna be amazed at this workout. How many times do I do 225 in that workout? 28 or 29? This is our office. This is the, this is the podcast setup that's gonna be coming. 
And this is what Jason and I do 90% of the time when we're not traveling to cool places. It's not a fitness culture vlog without seeing this guy. What do you think? New lens. I can't see myself, man. It's a new lens. Is that a new shirt too? It is, the Steve Cook Gymshark shirt. I know a guy who could probably get you one. Hey, do you guys actually like those stupid jokes? They love those jokes. That's a cool shirt though. Where'd you get that? Oh, it's part of the Steve Cook collection? That's cool, dude. That's so awesome to hear, man. It's a really cool shirt. The first time I ever wore a scoop shirt with a belt, what did you say? With a belt? A belt and then the scoop shirt hanging down. You wore a belt with the scoop under it? Like the belt was on top of your shirt? Yeah, bro. What'd you say? You remember what you said? No. You called me Peter Pan, bro. You probably looked like Peter Pan. <laughs> hey, Jake came back to apologize because he didn't realize I was talking about my lifting belt. I was wearing like a long scoop shirt and a lifting belt. Not a real belt. And you're wearing tights and you do look like Peter Pan. You look exactly like him, man. Right. You're hitting the legs. You're yeah. getting them. Trying, trying. So out of the vlog, man. I'm all up. I'm Where are you from? I'm from Australia. What Adelaide, part? South Australia. What's your name? Rishi. You ready to do some legs? Yeah, let's do it. If you guys go over to Fitness Culture's page right now, you'll see Aaron doing a, or go to Aaron's you know he's page. Full of it. You guys know he's full of it. Do a, he's doing a backflip. You can't even Photoshop that. Idea, I tried to way. Photoshop myself doing that and I couldn't. Like, that's a real deal right there. Jake made me do it. Jake did a backflip too. That was a bad example for Steve. When, no, look at when your swag, college. man. You're, a bad, like, you're not a bad I example. I got Steve to flat iron his hair once. Once? For like a whole two years I did it, man. The first show I ever won, I had flat iron Euro mullet. How amazing is that? You know what it is? It's that Australian style. The Euro <laughs> mullet, you remember the Euro yeah, mullet? Yeah, I did. We call it mohawk. The mohawk. Did you ever flat iron it? No, no way. Bro, you flat ironed it. <laughs> I did. This week we have a deload week here. So we're at 45% of our one rep max on back squat. We have it for 15 reps. The nice thing is box squats. We're not quite hitting parallel. We're gonna stop a little bit shy of hitting 90 degrees there. I'm looking forward to this day. I don't know if doing a full-fledged leg day after traveling is ever the best thing to do. So I'm very, very happy about this deload week. During our rest time, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna ask Aaron. Aaron, what's the most important thing about leg day? Most important thing? Most important thing to remember on leg day. Do it, for number one. That is very important. I would say the most important thing on leg day, wear something that covers your arms because all the pump goes to your legs and you have no blood in your arms. If you have no blood in your arms, you're gonna look like you got wet noodles. Like you don't even train arms. And then yep. your arms look super tiny, and then you go home and cry yourself to sleep at night. No, the arms are a distraction for this, right? So if you're looking out here, you ain't gonna see this. Oh, I see what you're saying. But what I'm saying is those shrink down if you do legs. Because- Oh all, yeah, all the blood goes- Yeah, down. all yeah, the blood goes to the legs. So yeah, yeah, okay. you start training yeah. legs, yep. and, then, and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you got a short sleeve yeah. on. Why do you think I got a long sleeve on today? is it for the leg day. I didn't show you guys, what did I do? Barbell hip ups and hamstring curls and then some mobility. A lot of things happening this week. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys are digging this content. You know, it's not easy to do vlogs every day. Yesterday, putting up 405, though kind of gave me a renewed energy for working out. David laid yelling, screaming. I think he was more excited than I was to get that. So it was, um, it was good. It was good to get back in and get a workout. And sometimes, you know, people, in the gym always coming from Australia and doing everything you always want to make sure they're getting taken care of because they're coming here to check out fitness culture or to if you guys are aspiring to be something in the fitness industry aspire just to give back like even if you're a personal trainer at your gym just make someone else even not not even about fitness just just make somebody else's day better just commit to serving and I think that ultimately you're gonna be a lot happier doing that so 
We're gonna do a video on the clothing this week, kind of a, a close-up detailed look at all the different fits, the styles, and the material, what's different about it from the normal Gymshark line. And then we're gonna get ready to come to Australia. Leave a message below what you guys think, uh, you know, what, what kind of content you wanna see in Australia. What should we do while we're down under? All right, if you guys haven't, make sure you subscribe. We're on our way to a million. We're getting closer and closer, so um, we're almost 960 now. Hope so, all right, peace. Mm -hmm.